Good evening. Welcome to uh, the second meeting of the month, Miami Township Board of Trustees. Um, we're a little short on, just a little short on participants tonight, but we have added one, so that kind of pulls it out. Maybe we'll get to you directly, okay? Um, we'll call me the order at 5 p.m. promptly. Oh, no. Yeah, 5 p.m. promptly. Um, I would entertain a mission, I would entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of May 2nd, 2022. I so move. Is there a, there's a motion, is there a second? Yes, there's a second. Are there any further, are there any corrections, additions? Fractions from these minutes? Yes. Okay. The last paragraph under new business. Uh, the trustees have received a request from Yellow Springs Community Foundation, not YSDC. Huh. So do they do YSCF? Yes. Uh, well, I, I would spell out the whole thing because okay. we don't have any context. Okay. Done. YS Community Foundation. Thank you. Any additional changes? Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. I now entertain a motion to pay accounts in the amount of $49,044.77, broken down general fund $6,088.25, Fire fund thirty six thousand seven hundred seventy two dollars eighty three cents. Yes. Fund one thousand two hundred ninety four dollars and uh, thirty four cents. EMS billing one thousand four hundred eighty nine dollars sixty two cents. Road three thousand three hundred ninety nine dollars seventy three cents. And no bond retirement. When is that going to post? Ms. Ms. Lutzer. When is what going to post? The bond retirement. Our payment. Oh, you know what? It, mm -hmm. it, um, we just made a payment in May. And I, at the beginning of the month, and I oh. well, I forgot to put it on there. Okay. Just one. Yeah. Yeah, so I did. knew it was coming in May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So it's coming on. All right. Yeah. So we're clear. Uh, yeah. But thanks for asking. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, any further discussion regarding payment of accounts? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I entertain a motion. Mr. So Wolf. I'll second. second. have a motion and a second. Any further retard? Retirement. Any, <laughs> any further discussion regarding these payments? Hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Moyer? Yes. Correspondence for the period. We have a Valley Asphalt Price Increase Notification. Surprise. Ohio Township, Ohio Township Association Grassroots Clipping Magazine. Not magazine. Uh, newsletter. March April activity report from Bath Township, which was substantial. Uh, we re request for copies of the Zoning Commission meeting, meeting, mi meetings, meetings. meetings, minutes. Like, yeah, he went back to 2018, mm -hmm. 2018. Did that happen, you know? It did. Okay. Uh, request for change, uh, additional request for a change of Chappelle show schedules, uh, response to trustees May 2nd meeting, and the Larry Family Foundation offered to purchase a treadmill. As well, yeah, Mr. Uh, and we do know that the uh, request for the change it couldn't happen just based on the timing involved. Uh, it would have had to have an all new BZA uh, hearing and there wasn't the ability to have 10 days between uh, notification and, and advertisement on the 21st, which is when they wanted to start it. So. So it it remains the 26th day still, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. uh, refund from Ohio, uh, D.C. Oh, deferred compensation, sorry. That's what that means. I can get the refund. Okay. Because I noticed from Veritex <laughs> regarding available files. Available files being that is, the, if you haven't looked, that is the actual Minutes or, or transcript? Transcript. Yeah. Area, thank you. Of the zoning commission. Mm -hmm. Or of the Board of Zoning Appeals. Yeah. Right. 
Can those be printed out? Or? Yeah, they give them several different formats. So mm -hmm. I have an idea. So I thought there was a problem. How many pages if it was printed? Oh, my God. So you... <laughs> huh? It's, really? long, it's long. Really? Oh, it's really long, yeah. And verbatim, every cough. Well, every page doesn't have a whole lot of information on it, just the way that it's formatted. Oh. So it's very I mean, I'd like to read it or whatever. I just yeah. was curious. I will. Okay. That's a good, good evening reading. Mm. Uh, Film and Go user survey, uh, Kitakaro postcards, they're the, the uh, post, post, uh, post, post, uh, oops, post, yeah, whatever, um, whatever. Those are the shroud people for natural burials, they make beautiful shrouds, mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody's interested. IRS determination, my attached firefighter association tax exempt status, that's, <laughs> that's amazing, that's only been in application for like the last 30 years? 15, 20, 20 years, I'm sure. But they got it, which is good because now they can legally accept some donations. Uh, request from McCrary of Executive Director to be on the June 6th meeting agenda, and I assured her she would be welcome. Um, to give a presentation. To give a presentation on. They've accomplished. Thing. Thank you. Community-wide composting project. Uh, interest in joining BZA from township resident. Mm. Mm. Uh, fund status, revenue status, appropriation status report for 516-22. Is there any other correspondence in or out this afternoon? Hearing none, we'll move along to uh, what might be public comment on agenda items or what might be uh, welcoming a potential BCA member. Are there any public comments? I don't hear any. So we will move on to uh, uh, Amy. So tell us, why would you be interested in being at the BCA? Well, Marilyn and Don, did you see my email that I sent? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. So, um, why well, here's my story. <laughs> um, where to start? Well, let me just say I've been reading the, the zoning information that's on the website. Mm -hmm. And I do have a couple of questions, too. If you have. Is that up to date? Is that information up to date? Some of the no, I know you brought that up. And I've been assured that the, the, mm -hmm. cur the current... Which, which part are you... The, the zone, I've been looking at anything related Question. to zoning that's uh -huh. on your website. So anything on the website is up to date. Is up to date. Correct. Okay, uh -huh. great. Because that's what I've been looking at. Okay. <clears throat> um, I didn't read the, the zoning resolution, you know, all the way through. It was 163 pages. Well, <laughs> you're going to have to do so that. So I, I know I have to memorize and it. And memorize it. Because, yeah, you know, because it's not be something you can just refer to when you need to. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. No, anyway, so... I've been looking at that, and I was looking at the a comprehensive land use plan. Mm -hmm. And while I was, I did read, read that word for word, because mm -hmm. that's just, and while I was reading that, the phrase that popped up in my head was serve and protect. And I realized that's the flip of the police academy, which is protect and serve. But that just kept coming up. Mm -hmm. And that's basically where I'm coming from, is I feel that we have something really precious here. I lived here over 40 years. Mm -hmm. And I've stayed in the background. I just really haven't you know, gotten involved in a lot of public things. I think what we have is really precious. I think it's very special. I also think it's very fragile. Mm -hmm. And I think it really needs to be looked after with very conscious, mindful stewardship. Mm -hmm. And I'm interested in doing that. And I feel like uh, the zoning is extremely important. I think. Um, the Zoning Commission and the BZA do very important things, and I just feel like I'd like to be a part of that. I'm ready to do that. I, I think it would be really intellectually stimulating for me, frankly. I feel like that's kind of missing. I'm also feeling like service is kind of missing. I'm at a point in my life where I really want to be involved in more service. I like to do research. I love researching. Um, I think of myself as a problem solver. I, mean, I know I said some of this in my, in my email. But um, these are the questions I ask myself. Because I said, well, why do I want to do this? And it 
just came into my head. Mm -hmm. I said, well, why do I want to do this? And I said, well, am I qualified to do this? Mm -hmm. And I feel very positive mm -hmm. about both of those things. Mm -hmm. yeah. I really do feel capable of taking the job mm -hmm. on. And I realize that a lot of uh, you know, what the BCA does is it's not all big news you know, stuff, but there's some, there's some what I might call mundane things or some smaller things, but you know, those things are important still. And those things are important you know, to people making the application. I just no, think sure. Yeah. Important anyway. yeah, everyone. Yeah. So I think it's a very important thing to do. Um, the, the one thing I, we always do like to tell anybody who, who's interested in, in the BCA as opposed to the Zoning Commission, BA, BCA does not meet uh, on a regular basis. They yes. meet as needed, basically. And in the 50 years prior to, say, last year, they may have met once every couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, very infrequently. Mm -hmm. And it's usually about as, you know, a, Somebody wants a couple more feet of a setback, uh, yes. a, a building addition. You know, it's usually kind of pretty much in and out. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're ready to go before you get there. Um, so it's 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 not all Dave Chappelle uh, right. uh, um, or performances. Yeah, and also agraria, you know, which is uh, yeah, in the news. That's right. Yeah, right. agraria. So. That's not to say there aren't things coming up. Um, you know, we're looking at different kinds of changes in land use coming along in the township in the next few years, specifically the, you know, the larger development comes through. Of course, that's really not the township anymore, but, uh, it, you know, it does, share, you know, it does share municipal lines with us, so now, mm -hmm. you know, that tends to increase building in that area too, and you know stuff works its way out. So there's always those possibilities of, of things coming up. But again, more than likely, it, it's not going to be an intense. Spirit. <coughs> now, there are two um, call them reserve or backup positions on the zoning commission that you're welcome to consider also, and they do meet on a monthly basis, and they do tackle issues such as upgrading, producing a comprehensive plan, upgrading a comprehensive plan as necessary, uh, reviewing the zoning code for, for consistency with the comprehensive plan. That's what they've been doing all along for a couple of years now. Um, and changes to the zoning code, zoning map, um, uh, again, it's a five-member commission also. Mm -hmm. can, can I jump in? Sure, absolutely. You said two backup. These are alternate members mm -hmm. if somebody is absent. Mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. uh, and also during harvest time or planting time, they may not meet monthly. Okay, because because they, a lot of them are farmers. Board. Yeah, <laughs> right. So that's something to consider, also. Yeah, I would have to, to look into that. Mm -hmm. Or we allow both. No. Okay, so you'd have to choose one or the other. Right, and that's why I, would, that, yeah, I figured that would be one or the other. I think I would, just off the top of my head, I mean, I just think I would just stick with BCA right now because I'm just kind of like getting my feet wet. Mm -hmm. And there are people who move from one to the other. Yeah, oh yeah. Getting in there, and that's what I'm thinking, you know. Yeah, you can, like, yeah, you can certainly. There's a learning curve. You know, and I need to educate myself and familiarize myself a lot more. You know, I think with the zoning and all the issues and talk to more people and things. Um, yeah. So I think I would still probably want to start with BCA, but that's nice. So I thought that had crossed my mind too, and I thought, well, I just don't feel ready. And right now it's, it's alternates, right, for the zoning. Correct, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, I. I would hope, I don't know, if I'm appointed to BZ, I would hope to be talking to uh, Richard a lot more, Richard's off, mm -hmm. a lot more, because I have a lot of questions, yeah. and just kick his brain, and I, I did ask for minutes from past BZA meetings, and he was able to give me a couple of those, but he said they're in a, it's a little difficult to get because they're in a different format, so, but if I wanted more, that he could probably obtain more for sure. me, because I'm yeah. you know, 
Yeah, he actually just put a, a, a good deal of them together. Well, that's for the zoning commission. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, I was I think for the BCA, since no, that's what uh -huh. I was thinking of. But yeah, I would like to read the zoning commission. Yeah. Uh, too. So anyway, I would be, yeah, I'd be delving in <laughs> if I'm appointed. Yeah. I won't just sit back and wait for, um, you know, meeting to be called. Yeah. Um, it's a, I just, I'm very interested in yeah, this, you know, and I, I need, <coughs> need to study, need some time to study, study things too. Marilyn, do you have any questions right yes. now? No? No? Come on. Okay. I've read your letters. And oh, that's not <laughs> Only that I'm very glad that you're stepping forward. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I am too. It's a real... It's personal growth for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a, it's a, I feel like I'm entering another stage or something. Something it feels really good. Uh, I feel very, very positive. I feel really, good, really strong about it. So thanks. Good. It's a, it's a, seems to be a good working group. They, you know, they now work together through, oh gosh, maybe four, five. Uh, BC hearings in, in the last year, year and a half. There were a couple of other ones, the agrarian one, and there was one for a, a, a home edition also. And then the three, four, however many for the Weary property. So mm -hmm. they have worked together and, and they seem to be a, a fairly good uh, working group. Um, not a lot of discontent within the, you know, within it. They, you know, they seem to be very mindful of what they're uh, what they're charged to do. So mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you, you enjoy being you know, part of the group. Oh. Yeah, so it's bonus. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I understand that um, I would be, if, if I were appointed, I'd be stepping into Linda Parsons' mm -hmm. um, place, and so I'd be filling out her. Correct. Term, correct. Yeah. And um, let's see, so those terms tend to. They tend to roll over. We don't, we don't stop at the end of a term, advertise, you know, and the Z News and the Dave Daily News and the Yellow Springs News that there's now an open seat available for this term coming up, et cetera, et cetera. It just kind of rolls over. If you, okay. <laughs> unless, unless, uh, unless you don't want to be there, okay. then you're there. There's potential for a longer yeah, Yes, a longer very, very long potential. Um, be appropriate to have a motion to appoint, or we wait a week. Or that be you, you are free to move at will. Whatever you'd like to do. Um, well, I I move that we appoint Amy Aker to the uh, open seat on the BZA that was created when uh, when the Parsons resigned. Well, have a motion. Is there a second? A second. I have a motion to say. Any further discussion discussion regarding that motion? Hearing none, may we vote, please? Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Hoster? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. See how well, there is. Thank you. Party time. This is great. Well, thank you. Thanks, Dave, for the rest of the meeting. <laughs> and uh, you'll be on the official call list then. Thank you. Oh, I did have one question. I, sure. I wonder why the. Um, uh, the, the addresses and the telephone numbers for the BCA members are on the website, but there's no email. There are no email addresses. Uh, if that was purposeful, or if that yes. just was something. I, I I don't know why, but there's there's never been that okay. that information that yet, and that certainly could be discussed with the BCA members. Do they do they, they, do they, yeah. do they want yeah. to be yeah, Do they want to do okay. that? And, okay. um, and that I've, I've seen some township <laughs> websites where they don't have. Everything goes through yeah. the yeah. office. That's what I wondered at that. Um, and I, I would think it's sort of whatever the preference is of the okay. individual member. Yeah. I've been looking at websites and I see some that say, this is what we do. Um, if, you, if this sounds interesting to you, this is what you can apply and things like that. It would be nice to, for somebody where you be able to go to the website and say, oh, I wonder what the, they do or where they come from or how you get to be on there. And, um, 
the nice people go there. Mm -hmm. So that's probably coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's one more question. Very right. quickly. We have um, a, a nice section in our zone code that refers to duties of BZA members. It's not very long, but it certainly could be. Well, it, it is actually on our website. Yeah, it's in the zone code. Yeah, it's in the zone code. Right at the very end. I printed that out. Yeah. Oh, is there a big map? I keep, you know, I look at the township map oh, computer. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can try to try to enlarge such and such. Is there a great big township mm -hmm. map that just has all, everything on? Is that yeah, here? We have it here. Uh huh. Is that? And would I be able to look at that? So oh, absolutely. Is that open some public or is that? Because the office is open. On the wall. So whenever the office also, is open, okay for me I'm, yeah. okay. I'm learning bit by bit. Uh, there are tremendous resources and flexibility on the Green County GIS, uh, which I think is run by the engineer's office. But if you just go to Green County and GIS, you, you see this imposing list of options. Okay. And okay. some of that. Uh, you can just take and uh, manipulate yourself to make what you want. Okay, thanks. If you know how to do it. I'm, I'm uh, still learning how to do it. It does have tons of things, but the one thing that it doesn't have completely filled out are the zoning designations for individual parcels. Okay. That's some, some do and some don't. And Miami Township seems to be one of the ones that has not been completed to the fullest extent okay. at this point. But you've got the big map in the office. Exactly. Are there more of those big maps? Maybe we should pay one where it's available for public to just to find anything. Do you know? Uh, well, I mean, we can <coughs> call up the engineer's office and then print them out. We actually get these from regional planning, but oh, that's neither here nor there. I'm, um, I'm mistaken. That was looking for me. No problem. But what did you, I'm sorry, what did you want to do with it? Oh, <coughs> when I, before, I was a, uh, before I was a trustee and didn't have access to the office, I wanted to see it too. I, that, every time you touch it on the website, it moves a little. It's, it's hard. I, you try to make it bigger? Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't have a very sophisticated computer. It's very, very, very slow. It's a little laptop. So it's not like a DSL line, so it's really hard to. For example, there are many empty walls in this room. Yeah. I'm just, it's just a suggestion. Well, actually, you, you don't, we can you move don't it need in a here. suggestion, oh. Marilyn. All, all you right. need is, is the a... The engineer's a, office, okay. No, no, no. All you need is some scotch tape. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, have a, we have another map in the... We have another map rolled up in the office. Okay, cool. You want to put it in the room? You help call me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Anything else? Did we vote? Yes, we voted. Okay. We voted. An approval unanimously. Margaret suggested a party. And so yeah. I guess that's all done. Yeah. Um, okay. Thank you, Amy. Thanks for your Thank you. your, your interest and your future participation. Oh, thank you. Um, speaking of public uh, comment on agenda items, uh, do we have any other sure. comments? Comments on agenda items from the public. I'm here, I, I'm here to listen and experience. I see. Okay. Well, welcome. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Have we met? We have, Chris. I thought so. Uh, you, 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 you deal more, more with my wife than you do me. My name is Mark Heiss. Oh, sure, Mark. <laughs> Mark, I'm sorry. What's your last name? Heiss. H E I S E. I, 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 um, I see you're familiar. Are you and, the Yale Springs News person? No, no I'm, the the I'm the president of the chamber. Oh. Thank you. And I, and I need t-shirts. Lots and lots of t-shirts. Oh, that's true. I've probably paid you. Uh, Pardon? Yes, you have. I paid you. And back, back in the days when it was easy to walk around the corner and drop it in my mailbox. Right. I'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> t-shirts, mugs, and all kinds of things like that. Okay, well, let's move along since we now have a full house or a fuller house. We do have a fire report from the chief who's not with us this evening, but he did put a report together. and. We'll go over it here briefly. Uh, he reports his activities since the last meeting. There were 39 EMS incident, incidents, uh, which is pretty substantial for the short amount of time between the two meetings. Five in Bath Township, seven, seven fire incidents, two in Bath Township. 
Incidents of note, he says, crews responded to multiple crashes during this period, including a two-car head-on crash on US 68 uh, north by the uh, New Glen Forest Cemetery. Three patients were transported to area hospitals, including one in serious condition. Uh, National EMS Week is this week, and to celebrate, we'll be providing dinner to our crews, which is great. This year marks the 47th annual recognition of this event designated to celebrate EMS personnel and the important work that they do in our nation's communities. Our crews do an amazing job responding to the needs of our patients and the, excuse me, and the community and deserve a week to have their service celebrated. They should have two weeks, I see. Vacation, he says, I'll be out of the office on vacation the following times, May 26th through June 2nd and June 10th through June 20th. Assistant Chief Powell will be acting chief during these times. The new mattresses, if you recall, we uh, obtained 20 new mattresses from <coughs> Tempur-Pedic. Uh, one of our volunteers, uh, uh, do you remember who it was? It's uh, Lieutenant uh, it was Charles yeah. Klein. Yeah. Uh, Klein. Yeah. And, and I'm race of the mattress gods, we have 20 mattresses, which we can't use all 20, but we're going to share them with Xenia Township, uh, 10 and 10. Uh, we don't have room for 10 mattresses either, so I don't know where the other uh, four. We have six, six bunked, but who knows? If we wear them out, I guess we'll have some. New treadmill will be scheduled for delivery towards the end of this week or early next week. Yes, I'm not uh, happy. Some expenditures, which he always does, lots of expenditures. And I think that's all for the fire department. Anything uh, fire related before the board? Uh, just to repeat what you said, this is almost double the rate of incidents. We had a bunch today, even. Yeah, all the other ones. I don't think they ever ate. I mean, it's like two a day or three. Ambulance runs at least. The good weather brings yeah, nice days. lots of people out and about. <coughs> we'll move to the cemetery and road report. Is okay. our cemetery section here this evening? Yes, sir. Yes, he is. This is. Since our last meeting, we've had four burials. Wow. We had a natural, two full burials, and actually, an old wind pool. Friday, we're going to have a full burial in Glen Forest, and Saturday, we're going to have ashes. Got actually scheduled for the 6th and that of June. Pretty busy. New side, old side, where are they? Uh, both four and the ones in the new edition, one of the section L and mm -hmm. the ashes was in the middle. And this Friday barrel will be in section H. H. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we're on four bases. We got them all ready today. We'll start four them tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll be done with the afternoon. It'll be hard by the time they need to set. Yeah, I get it. We'll, we cover them. I'll put more of them. So if it starts raining, we'll hurt them. I'm going to get them in. I think it was, was it last year that they, they didn't come and set the stones on them? We no, no we got them in. You know, we were supposed to get them in, and mm -hmm. they never came and sent any stones because they were running behind, they said. And they, they had one driver passed away. So. Mm -hmm. Back. Have, you, have you talked to them? Are they ready to set yeah. as far as you know? Uh, they know that my base will be in this week. Mm -hmm. I talked to Jamie today and told her I don't <coughs> know for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if all those stones are ready, but everything we've got for them. Uh -huh. And how I many were there? Nine? Nine here, five of them. Mm -hmm. okay, that's a pretty good job. Yeah. <coughs> I uh, called Gray, uh, Gray Groomers and left a message. They so, yeah, called me back. Just, just so curious. Is that? Yeah. Just curious. That's about all I had for cemetery. Pretty busy. We're going to have to meet next week. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Yeah. Um, you know, it was just no big surprise. We were towards the end of June and we got a lot of grass growing out there. And, 
Oh, I know. Yeah. Okay. That's where my road department is. I know. <laughs> Just I get to get the cemetery stuff wrapped up quick. Oh, well, speaking of cemetery, um, are you and Roger on the same page for uh, mowing towards mowing weeding towards Memorial Day? He just trimmed last week. He said he's opening a hole. I said he won't go for Memorial Day, so he's going to have to come back and hit it. So they were going ahead and knock it down, so it will make it a little easier on him. He was in there Friday. But, but he plans on having. I told him last year. I said you, you know, you were here. Your boys came in and trimmed the week ahead, Don. It looked great on Friday, but Monday looked terrible. Come to war, they spent three days made a difference. Yeah. So. All right, well. He was trimming, I said, you know, we should have to make it look nice. Mm -hmm. And it, it should go pretty quick. You got to knock down pretty good. So. Mm -hmm. okay. But yeah, I want it to look nice. <clears throat> and so you and Brandon are going to kind of do Clinton. Clinton. When? I'm sorry. Next week. Next week? Yeah, probably start Sunday. Or something. I gotta be over there Saturday, so I might even start trimming Saturday in the old part. Is it takes, is that it a week or ten days before Memorial Day, though? Well, I can start the old part of it yeah. this week, because that's not the most active part. I like yeah. section B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. That's where all the action is. Mm -hmm. really yeah. Yeah. I mean, when they come and put out flowers. But we'll get it. Okay. I thought about trying to get another pair of hands to help, but you can't find anybody else. Yeah. So. Yeah. We can handle it. Is that it for some chairs? Yes, sir. Anything else for the sexton? Nope. Anything for the sexton? All right. Put your other hat on. Uh, I'm going to start going my ditches as soon as I get to the cemetery. <laughs> That's what's going on in the road department. That's a priority. Unless you have something else. To do. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we know they need to be mowed and everything, but um, your interest to Glen Drive and Grinnell Road, there's a pretty good sized land that's just sitting in the, in the right of way there. Oh, the Glen Road? Yeah. Let's see. On the, on the right hand side as you're going in. Going road, did you say? Over the railroad? Going in the circle? Going into the circle? Well, off the Glen, circle going down. Glen going Road. Down Glen. Glen Road. Just off of, of Grinnell. Road. Grinnell Road. Grinnell Road. Yeah. I know that, you know, we say this all the time, but there's no, none of them are marked Grinnell Circle. It's, it's I, that's what we've always called it. It's yeah, I know. Because it's a circle. Okay, well, anyway, there's a, there's a limb there. Well, I have not seen it. Okay. Because okay. you said there was a pile of brush, it wasn't ours, and it was dull. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Yeah. I'll check on that tomorrow. Um, do you remember offhand what what roads were fog coating? Um, yeah. We had two last year. Uh, South River, half of Houston, or half of Harbison. All of South River? All of South River, half of Harbison, and uh, Houston. Houston will be bald. That's everything we chipped last year. Mm -hmm. We could add if we wanted to, couldn't we? I could add, sure. What would you like to add? Um, the other half of Harvison. Really? Yeah, because all they did was put down... We chipped it. We just chipped that a year before that. Uh, yeah, but they, all they put down for a fog was dirty water. You want the whole thing fall? Not yeah. chip. You want the whole Harvison mm -hmm. fall? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, we can do that. Take, you know, when you're looking at stuff, look at the other half and see. Yeah, we just had it chipped a year before. Yeah. Uh, but you want to hope the fall all the way through on Harbison? Yeah. Okay. Okay. If that's all right with you guys. Okay. It's assuming they actually, well, we're back to the other company that did a better job, right? Yes. Um, okay. I think we should fight all a swimming pool. Uh, it we probably, probably, did. It probably yeah. was done, but it's, not, it's gone. I can add it. Ooh. 
think this were done under Allied. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did we just chip seal Golden Willow, or were we thinking about we, it? We held off on it. No, we, we held off. We held off until next year. I, I want to make sure that that's what we were doing. Mm -hmm. We were going to put it on the list, but we decided to wait for this year. Yeah. Okay. Now we've got some stuff to do with Bryant Park because of tree, trees, a couple mm -hmm. of trees to lay down, and it's mm -hmm. a piece of garden right now, and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we can mm -hmm. can do it after, but I'd rather do it before. And that culvert, I think that culvert is going to be the place. On the downhill, mm -hmm. the hole in it. Mm -hmm. If you want to try to open it and see if I can, you know, patch a hole, I need to look at the pipe. Mm -hmm. If it's bad, then you might replace it. Yeah, um, <coughs> so I'm going to do it before it's, it's overlaid. Um, you going to mow the mill sometime? They mowed it Friday. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. And this Friday, yeah. I think We mowed it in this. I think I was there on Thursday. No, I think I was there on Wednesday. No, we hit Friday. We hit this Friday. We were there and they came here. Mm -hmm. We did have the, the whole building pressure washed and the um, patios. And the new refrigerator. It's all um, over the outside. Mm -hmm. It's got a home, so don't take it. Okay. Sounds like you were sort of segueing in the standing committee reports. Mm -hmm. I guess we were. I don't know. Well, they'll be quite the members of grass family. Still really important. That's true. So done. Well, let him finish. Okay. <laughs> Anything else for the road? Hearing none, we'll move to. Uh, Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. Move to the fiscal office report. Yeah. Uh, resolution for y'all. And it's resolution 2022-21, amendment of a permanent of, of permanent appropriations. Whereas an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to needs of the township. Now therefore the trust is authorized amending the following appropriations, and I added another three grand and the zoning other um, line item in the general fund and an EMS billing, I added $400 in Medicare. Township trustees authorize a fiscal officer to do so immediately. I entertain a motion to adopt resolution 2022-21. No. 2022-21. It is fine. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of twos in there. I so move. And a second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding that resolution? Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Major? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Thank you. Everything's great. Uh, words to live by. <laughs> self fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> They're the best guy. Mm. Uh, anything further for our fiscal officer? Mm. Ms. Moyer? Mr. Hollister. Nope. Uh, I think we've kind of chatted about zoning this afternoon, but is there any additional zoning questions or concerns or issues that have come up since the last time we met? Well, I guess the um, find, finding out if uh, um, bylaws are required of both commissions and if so, begin a journey on getting those. Um, and Richard had mentioned train and also the classroom training of members knowing I, I don't know what that process is as far as when new members join the commissions do they get it do they get a packet and a booklet or a training or a um, no but but hold on they do get it. special Bonus. Yeah. <laughs> They're marked. Yeah. You don't want no people to know. Okay. It's a tootsie roll. It's a tootsie roll. Okay. Um,
Oh, better be good. Well, it's a question. Does the funding, um, is the township funded uh, by real estate taxes and by the returns on your investments? Is there other funding? Mm -hmm. There's local government um, fund Road. distribution. We get gasoline tax. That oh, gasoline. Funds yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Permissive license uh, plates. License driver's plates. license fees. Okay. So it's a yeah. lot of different. Okay. Yeah. Five dollars each here. time comes to us. I think it's on your website. I think it's, if you look at the fiscal and stuff on the website, because I remember seeing the gas. Thanks. Thanks. The, yeah, I made myself okay. flashcards. Okay. I can, I can make you a set. Those are all the different funds. I have it all. Gasoline tax, yeah. oh. tax, property yeah. tax. Yeah. 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 General yeah. public yeah. tax. Yeah. Usually when we change members, there's stuff that comes back oh, wow. and then gets reused, but that's a brand spanking new, never been used copy. Is this the new or is this borrowed? 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 It is to your left. Where you're used during your trust. Thank you. What is the title of that? Oh, here you go. You're on bond copy. <coughs> Thank you. And, and the thing I had was, um, mm -hmm. how do people find it? Like we, you said, there's two alternative positions available on zoning commission. Mm -hmm. We don't know when the next person might step down from BZA, do we? Um, and you, you applied because you happened to run into Richard or approach no, him. No, I actually didn't know. I, yeah, you didn't know. I did, actually did not know. It was incredible timing because the day after, it was the day before, I guess I sent my email the day after mm -hmm. she had actually received it. Yeah, I it was know the it. day I after. Know you're, it. you're right. I had just emailed oh. Richard and said, I'm interested in, you know, <coughs> a, how do I apply? How do I mm -hmm. apply for the BCA? I'm interested in this. He said, oh, I'll just write one of interest. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I had no idea when it was going to come up. So I guess I that's exciting. unconscious psychic ability. I believe it is. <laughs> so is it time to put it out there again? I know you guys have done that a lot of times and you often find. Um, for the, for all alternates? For alternates for people to to apply. I guess we don't ask them to apply until their openings. Or? Well, there are two openings. That, um, we have had alternates in the past that come and go. Do we have alternates for the BCA? Um, well, we have available spaces, but we don't have any alternates. Um, okay. So, I guess we could just put that off with, with the re website we do, and then just have people refer to that if they're interested in the commission and what they're about, and, mm -hmm. and how you apply. Usually, so, so we don't advertise for alternates. We advertise for members when we have a vacancy, and if there happens to be more than one <laughs> application, then we'll offer that, and if that person chooses to be alternate, then we have an alternate. We usually don't advertise for alternates. Right. Mm -hmm. Go through that trouble being alternate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. We'll move on to Standing committee reports. Uh, MBRPC uh, will be reactivated as of the June meeting, I think. Right. And Regional Planning Commission uh, met last month and uh, what did we do? We, uh, it was a very short meeting. We, went over one subdivision in View um, Creek Township. Uh, and we went over some expenses and went over some timing for the new comprehensive plan for the county, which hopefully will be finished uh, in about, or not, it is finished, but hopefully it will be made public in about um, three weeks. It's going to be presented at, uh, 
think our final seminar, which I haven't been to. It's a three week. No, it would be much longer than that. We have three more classes. So, no, two. Okay, three weeks. You're right. Um, Clifton Union Cemetery Board. Oh, there's been no new, no new meetings. Uh, Yellow Springs Community Development Corporation. I don't know if there's anything terribly exciting. I, I do have uh, a tax calendar. Did I pass this out last time? This is not all of the taxes, not all the property taxes, but those that uh, need to be renewed periodically by the schools, by the village, by the you township. The calendar. Um, so, and that's relevant to our discussion, our pending discussion about whether or not we need another <coughs> fire. Just your, you, you I'm said, not bringing that up as a topic of business okay. necessarily. I'm just saying this is information that I presented to, at our last development corporation. But, but you just said that this is information relevant to whether or not we need to have another fire light. Not whether or not. It's the, back, it's the context that is the purpose of having sharing this calendar with the school district and the village is so that we're all aware of when others might be coming on the ballot okay i just want to make sure that you that you were in agreement with the other members of the board that we need to put the two two mil levy on pretty much as soon as possible i'm not aware of that having been a discussion in our business meeting i'm glad to I mean, we, we can be talking about that. That's not Yellow Springs Development Corporation's discussion. Okay, gotcha. Um, not on my list of standing committee. Uh, I'm also a member of the Green County Solid Waste District Policy Committee, which is essentially their operating board. Um, and I'm on that representing all the townships in the county. And we're making a transition from the county solid waste district managing volunteer, you know, adopt a road. Uh, you, some places around the county you see a sign that says, you know, this road adopted by, uh, in this area, the uh, Odd Fellows clean west of, well, from East Enon Road west for two miles. Uh, well, not really two miles, but to Houston Road. Um, and townships will now have management of that as a responsibility, although the supplies will be provided by the county. Um, and I'm supposed to consult with the Township Association and develop a, a, a pattern, a protocol for that. Uh, the more rural townships historically haven't, there hasn't been much demand, there's not a whole lot of litter, or it's not concentrated, uh, but in Beaver Creek and in Bath Township, but, uh, there are in Delver. Uh, and I'm kind of excited by that. There are some stretches that once or twice a year, like on Bryan Park Road, uh, that would be worth having a you know, volunteer day. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe have a group that adopts that mm -hmm. spot. Or it might even just be the school forest committee from the high school. But we'll see.
I was under the assumption, and this might be a different program, but I thought the uh, Adopt a Road program was a, a business, a fraternal organization, you, you, you name it, adopts this or that road. And what they do is they pay for the cleaning up. They don't physically go and pick up the no, McDonald's we bag. We clean it up. That's a different, I, I'm not aware of that program. I'm sorry, Mark, what was it? Hey, it, the, the organizations have, provide volunteers to clean the road, like the Odd Fellows uh -huh. um, and it's between Agraria and, and, and East Eden, mm -hmm. okay. or West Eden, sorry. No, that is East Eden, sorry. Um, so, but yeah, they, and, and Boy Scout troops do it and all that. They don't provide funding, they provide labor. Mm -hmm. um, the county typically provides um, signs saying there's a road cleanup going on and, the, and vests and, mm -hmm. and trash bags and then they, they, the county will come and collect the, the trash at a, an assigned point. Mm -hmm. right. But if, so if, uh, the Outdoor Education Center staff is listed as doing this uh, around goes, but that's a state road, so that's a whole other operation. This is township and county roads. Um, and it's as Mark described. OK, that's interesting. Hmm. Anything else? Nope. Those those reports. Um, Marilyn, you have anything for the Climate Action Sustainability Group? Yeah, they met and um, we started go reading through, you know, the, the action sustainability plan is, I think it's the final draft and um, going through it, there's a lot of interest in the township um, among the members mm -hmm. and um, they may be planning to come talk to us in what ways um, um, the township, we can envision vision for the town, what role the township might play. They look long term. They mm -hmm. look very much um, climate activists do look long term at like res resiliency within um, our region mm -hmm. and very interested and at the beginning stages this this is a long a long view kind of group mm -hmm. um, is it interesting and um, coming up with how the, the township and the village could work together and uh, For, for the long term and what changes climate change might bring. Mm -hmm. So, I don't have a lot of specifics, but that's what... Well, did you read through Deal's um, treatise on climate change on the local level that he forwarded to us when when he was here? Uh, you know, about the Kingwood Solar? He was the guy who was pro Kingwood Solar, right? Uh -huh. And he, he wrote something, no, I did not read his treat if he had a treat to send climate change. No, well, he, he sent one, he wrote one about Kingwood, and then he sent another one regarding climate change impact at, at a local level. Okay. I'll, I'll say, uh, I haven't seen that either. Uh, that's okay. on the trustees email. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure, it didn't come to you first. Okay. Oh, no, I, you. Oh. Uh, I have a question. Is there any reference to If it came to me, I would have forwarded it, but then it would have been under my name. So I'll, have to, I'll, I'll take it out. Make sure. Oh, I'm sorry, did you say that? Uh, does the Climate Action and Sustainability Group overlap with the Environmental Commission? Overlap. Hmm. They mentioned them. I don't know. I don't, I don't think they're working together necessarily. I'm trying to think if there's a representative from the commission on that. I wanted to let the board know that I picked up a new job here uh, recently. I'm now the representative for Green County on the uh, One Ohio Opioid Recovery Foundation. Operation. <laughs> it's a long, it's a long name, but, but one Ohio Opioid Recovery Foundation. I believe that's okay. the group, and uh, this is for how to spend the 
you know, the money that's a settlement from mm -hmm. pharmaceutical companies. Mm -hmm. And as I believe, because there are multiple counties in our region, we're in region 14, there are 19 regions of the state of Ohio, and they all have been divvied up a certain amount of funds by region, by, by political subdivision. We are earmarked, as I read it, to receive uh, approximately $12,000 uh, towards <coughs> drug rehabilitation. You know, and the, the, the representatives, the county representatives, are charged with, with meeting and reviewing, and either soliciting, which I don't think we'll probably need to do much soliciting, where it's going to be well known, especially in the inner circles, uh, but reviewing applications for potential distribution and where, where to dis distribute these funds uh, in in the uh, uh, in the participating counties. So, so twelve thousand is coming to Green County or to Miami Township. Miami Township. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look like. Yeah. So anyway, um, okay. you know, more information as we go along. Okay, um, any new business this evening? Well, um, I was thinking, especially with the, well, in general, but if we could begin to get our agendas earlier, like on Friday, in case anything that comes up that I, that I need to research. And uh, for example, and as I think of the new website, Agraria is giving a presentation next time and the public won't really know because they has to be placed on our agenda but we don't really get it until we come in. And that over time we might start publishing a public agenda so that people, if there's, like I remember when the Citizens Group for Kingwood presented, there might have been people that wanted to be there. And if Agrarius presenting their compost to the thing, there might be people that want to be there. Um, no rush. I, I could help in any way I can. I know we tend to just have our standing committees. Um, uh, are you thinking of putting that agenda on our website or putting it, say, in the Ellsman's News? Um, I would think, and I... Which is a whole is different the, time. This is something the public can weigh in. I, I would think the the website would be sufficient um, just so that yeah, so, so people know it's coming up. And so for the June 6th meeting on a Monday, uh, for, like, we would put on our website on June 3rd anticipated new business or pending old business or something like that. Well, since you know it now, well, you could go ahead and put it on there. Yeah. That particular, because that's something out of the ordinary. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just think we should get more out ahead of letting the people have asked to know what's going on, so we could, we could let them know. I don't even know when our web person is going to be back in town, but um, it just reminded me of that. When they when they emailed us, said, could we put on your agenda? She's like, sure, it could be put on our agenda. Maybe we, we should know maybe, um, well, I can put that on. That's no problem. That's I mean, easy since enough. I do the agenda, you know, I think mean, the agenda is generally the same thing. Yeah. Um, the communications mm -hmm. bring um, things to our attention. And, like, we already know about Aguaria. So maybe there, I'm just suggesting maybe on, on the website we would have an, a, a space where there's an agenda. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and that's where you would interject something we know is coming up. Yeah. Or, and, I mean, and, um, possibly as um, communications come rolling in, mm -hmm. um, I could add those to uh, that section of the website. If I we think, think someone something. should vet that because just because we get something about those weird postcards, that's not necessarily new business. I know they're pretty. <laughs> but I mean, you know, I mean, no. But I'm thinking of things that would more bring be more pub, not not the everyday, mm -hmm. the public interest. I, I'm just suggesting, yeah. since you're since we're thinking about and um, you know improving or you know enhancing the, the website, 
So just instance, toss it out there because I'm a Mark, crazy gender. Mark thinks he might go to a township meeting. Oh, am I going to go this time or maybe in a couple of weeks? What's coming up? You can, you can look on the website. And, and, and that's a really great example because today I mean, the township meets the same day, the same night as the uh, the village. And thank God your meetings don't last as long as the village's meetings. But I can make an educated decision um, as to which. I might be more interested in, or which may have more interest to, to me as the chamber and that kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, it makes it easier to decide. And today, as an example, I, you know, I, I knew that you had a, had a standing agenda that didn't fill out much, but the uh, I, I could go to the village's agenda, for example, and look and say, well, there's nothing really here that I need to be president for or way in on. So. Mm -hmm. And they come here, they come here with, with we changed our, our meeting time so you can go to both. Well, thank you. Well, and, and again, thank God your, 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 your meetings do not last as long as the, the villages. Tell so. me why, usually. <laughs> I was a current council for seven years. Anyway. Um, well, we're here to protect and serve. serve and protect. <laughs> right. One of the two. So does, does the village put out all the gory details of a, of a the whole yeah, yeah. You, can click, you can click through and see all of the correspondence, click through and see the res all resolutions, all of that. They put a lot of that in the newspaper, too. Mm -hmm. their, their ordinances, and they, they do have a, a newspaper mm -hmm. that's coming up, so. Well, most of those things have to be advertised by law, so. For them, but not for us. Well, one of the, one of the things. did that much, you know, yeah. made so many yeah. changes and things. Um, one of the things, and, and I used to be the, um, the, the, the chair for, the, and I don't even remember what, they, because they changed the name of the committee, but the chair that handled Channel 5. And um, we kind of transitioned ourselves into being more of a, a village communications committee. And one of the things that, that we lobbied heavily for and pushed was um, electronic communications because not everybody gets the newspaper. Mm -hmm. um, and especially for emergency notifications, emergency meetings, things, and those things come up. Um, the, uh, it, it, as long as you can maintain a practice of electronic notification along with the, with the, the traditional methods of the newspaper or, or, or physical posting on a bulletin board, um, then, it, then you can actually, it, it becomes easier to meet uh, the Sunshine Laws by saying, well, we, we, we provided immediate communication as quickly as we could through the, the avenues that we traditionally use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was bringing up first to think about which, how much we want to put and where. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I agree. Cool. I like the idea of let's just get started. Okay. Any you other do the work. <laughs> Any other new business? Any old business? Uh, at our last meeting, I said I would uh, follow up on the Community Foundation's request for $5,000 uh, rent relief contribution. Uh, they've also asked the village for $5,000, and as of this afternoon, the village had not acted on that. Maybe it'll come up at tonight's meeting. Um, And uh, the Community Foundation Board meets later this week, and uh, they have not uh, voted on whether or not to put up 5,000. And I spoke with Jenna Marie Cox uh, this afternoon, and she said it would be nice to know if we were planning to do that. Uh, I said that there was not a whole lot of enthusiasm when it first came up. Uh, I asked for what, any context, any background information, and likely we already got this, but um, as of the end of December, uh, so that's December 2021, from over a, they started doing rent relief, both forgivable loans and grants 
uh, in August 2020. Uh, so a little over, what's that? 16, over a 16 month period, uh, there was $80,000 dispersed to 130, it was 137, uh, they call them loans, but I would more accurately say grants, uh, to 90 residents. And including two in my township and corporate. So there, there was distributed to 90 different people and mm -hmm. two of them were in the township. That is two outside of Yellow Springs. Yeah, two outside. Two outside. Um, and keep in mind, I think uh, maybe you've got it on there that we contributed somewhere. I don't have it on here. Forty-five and sixty thousand. And that those our contributions were not just for rent. rent. A lot of it went into small businesses. It weren't that much. It was a uh, was ten thousand in the small businesses, <coughs> and it wasn't so much rent. I mean, to be technical, uh, mm -hmm. it was for util it was for back utilities because yeah. the community foundation utilities are not allowed to use their funds. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I noticed that the development corporations got like forty thousand dollars sitting around, not sitting around, but available. Any consideration that they use some of that money? Uh, it has not come up. I mean, we just we just gave them another thousand dollars. Yep, our dues. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are what are they what are they what are they doing with the money? I mean, are they what, the development corporation? Yeah. Uh, that's a topic that is different than this. Okay. Uh, but I think saying that you think the development corporation ought to be approached on this is a reasonable. Okay, so that's, okay, I, I misunderstood. So this is not development corporation, this is just a general plea. From, from the community, community foundation, foundation saying they are going ahead, they are considering just as they've asked us to consider uh, donate to the foundation, they give the money to the credit union to manage, uh, and it's largely recommendations from the police department, uh, well, yeah, social that's worker. What, yeah, that's what I wanted to know, but, it was, but it's not being handled through the, the police department social worker, who, which, who was doing it before. I mean, she was the she, one who was... She, she recommends, it. but it, but it's... Uh, they, the credit union, you, you fill out a loan application as if you know, mm -hmm. a, a normal credit union loan, and you, you get your financial background and, and your need. I, I know I sound like a broken record, but number one, I think we contributed our fair share and a lot more than our fair share. And, and Miami Township, as much as we would like to get into, you know, welfare type work, I just don't think that's really within our, you know, within the, 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 the laws of the Ohio Revised Code. Mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, that was from the discussion with our attorney. I know that you had just made a quick review of the ARPA, but uh, potential uses, which is fine. but. Between that and the what I think is is the need for this compared to the need other needs that we have, um, I mean there are jobs going begging to be filled. I mean Yellow Springs just had a job fair, and and the the little information I got was they had very few people go to it. We had fifty. There were fifty. You know, how many? And that, the, we had 50 that signed the register. We mm -hmm. believe that we probably had another 25 more than that at least. Do, do you know how many positions were, 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 were filled at, 
afternoon. Um, there were quite a few I know that were filled for, uh, that were filled for, well, no, there were no positions filled that afternoon. Oh. Candidates that were collected. Uh -huh. um, there were can candidates collected for a number for Cresco. Um, there were a number of candidates, uh, a few cl candidates collected for the police department. Um, I know for for us, and just because we, we, we had a table from Yellow Springer as well, um, mm -hmm. or we're going to, and to be honest with you, we've had an, an influx of applications. We've had a ton of applications, and we didn't need to, to be there. I believe Ventino's um, is looking at filling two positions from the job fair. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, there, there were quite a few. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and it was, and these it are was all, very successful. Yeah, and these are all these are all relatively decent paying jobs. Uh, I'm, I know s some of them are a lot more decent than others, but um, in theory, they should be able to uh, you know, cover a all or portion of, of living expenses for people. Um, uh, uh, I'm not trying to be hard hard, I just think we've done our, we've fulfilled our responsibility for, for the pandemic and the economic hardships that it, it created. That's only my opinion. I'm certainly welcome to hear anyone else's. Well, just so the public knows, the funds we're talking about is the ARPA funds, which is American reinvestment thing. Every local government was given, and national government and the state government was given a chunk of money. Ours will, in total, be $128,000, approximately. Mm -hmm. We've got 64th so far, it's just sitting there. Um, one of the big things we need it for is um, for our own fire department, who is certainly active in it. The idea of the bill is to to recover from the, the pandemic economically. And we need a lot for our fire department. Mm -hmm. um, we responded to a lot of COVID or potential COVID situations. Um, this is for personnel costs only that we're, we're in need. This is not for new equipment um, or, or even operating supplies. This is primarily to cover the cost of, of Salaries. But the bill is wide open, and the, the spirit of the bill was to invest. And our town, own township association webpage, the Ohio Township webpage, even said, if you're not feeling the effects, I mean, these are the heady early days, if you're not feeling the effects of the ARPA money you're investing 10 minutes, 10 years later, um, it'd be a, it would be a shame, and something to that effect. So. The predecessor that during the Trump years was the CARES Act. We spent approximately 70, 30, 70 to shore ourselves up and 30 in the community. This time, and this is much less money this time. What did we get for CARES Act, you know? Yeah, we got it in like three different. Yeah, so budgets. this is, you know, it's not a whole lot of money, but it's $128,000. And we still haven't decided, well, I don't know, some in our heads, we haven't approached, we haven't, um, would it say appropriated it yet? Um, we have somewhat committed, I mean, we have talked about it and we've, we've had a general agreement. I don't know if we've had a, a, a motion to, to, uh, to approve, but to participate in the county's uh, broadband um, extension uh, into the rural areas of the county. Okay. And we talked about a 12, a 10% commitment of the ARPA funds, okay. um, which would be 120, 12,900 yeah. for that. I kind of had the idea, since we can use all the money they give us, obviously, that in the spirit of the first one, a 70-30 split again, I had never told you guys that unless I talked to Don about it. Um, I don't know how that would be divvied up. I, I see your point. I mean. We're to, to maintain roads, to offer fire services, um, to think about zoning, and is it our job to? What, what's your 70% seven, 70 30%? What are the two categories? Um, fortifying our own fire department, mm -hmm. right? Is that our secret? Mm -hmm. And yes. 
um, doing something bigger than ourselves, like investing in broadband and um, investing economically. I mean, we had people come to us, Home Inc. gave us a, a pitch when, when you opened up a public meeting, Don, mm -hmm. to ask people for suggestions on how it might be spent. They gave us a pitch for, um, I think, $30,000 for, what was it, for the seed money to have another pocket senior citizen pocket neighborhood mm -hmm. or something. So, what am I trying to say? We haven't appropriated the money yet. We are allowed to do that. I'm not. I'm not sure this is it. I, I don't see where that. I don't see where that fits our. I don't, yes, we don't have a mission or our charge for um, rent relief. If we, if people were, we were still in the middle of the pandemic and people were being evicted from their homes mm -hmm. in, in the middle of a pandemic, and that's a, a public health you know, situation that, that seemed appropriate. At this point, I don't, I, I'm with Chris, are we at ongoing um, rent relief? Mm -hmm. Any, if the public has anything to say. I'm, I'm, um, I'm not of a mind to push hard on this. Uh, I just didn't want to dismiss it yeah. without doing more legwork, without more background. Uh, and so I, I brought what information I have. And to be perfectly honest, Don, uh, it does not seem like, to me, it doesn't seem like a very formal re request for a substantial amount of money. I mean, there, there's, no, there's no facts and figures. There's no, you know, there's, there's 42 people waiting to be evicted that, you know, are in that dire is, need of this yeah, money. That is, you're, you're saying that would be hypothetical. What you're saying is hypothetical. Yeah. We have not been told this is the specific need. This, this is. Well, I haven't even said, seen anything on paper, uh, unless it's this. Is that it? Well, what, it, it was an email. Yeah, it was like one so, line, though. It wasn't a, a you know, that's true. fully fleshed out mm -hmm. sort of proposal. So anyway. And then there's the issue of we're the township, not the village, and that's primarily village. Yes. Like, I, the rest of the township. They might be interested. No, we help. We did rental assistance for the village. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm done. Can, can I ask a point of clarification? Certainly. Chris, you, you, you said that the ARP money that went to the fire department was, ex was explicitly for personnel. And was that a restriction of the ARPA funds, or was that, was that a just, just a decision between you and the chief, or? Well, it was a decision of the board. Okay. It's just um, the CARES Act. Well, that, I, and I didn't mean you, I, mean, I meant you as the, uh -huh. the you. Or, or, do you mean to ask about ARP or CARES? The, the money that's been spent. Okay, so the CARES Act. CARES Act. The, the, the funny, the, the, and the only reason that I ask is, is um, and, and, and I know you don't know this, but I, I owned an ambulance company for a number of years up in Ann Arbor. And the, you know, it, if it was restricted, I don't know the reason it would have been restricted just for personnel, but just the cost of PPE that was that would have been required during the during the pandemic um, would have been huge for the fire department. There there, is, there were equipment. I can guarantee you, there were equipment costs, and that was covered on on some of the earlier CARES Act funding. Okay. All right, this just happens to be the last one, and. They've changed it a, a, a multitude of times since they since they put it out. But when it first came out, there were very very specific areas only that you, that could be used. Uh, and in the within those areas, it, it had to be justified. Your every expense had to be justified, and it had to be recorded. You know that you had made the expenditure, and it didn't, yeah. you didn't have it in your such and such and such fund. It was almost. It sounded like almost impossible to, to to participate in it, but we had set up a system that we identified actual runs out into the village that that were potentially through you know COVID related. You know, you didn't know until it was done. You know, well, you didn't know until but you well had to you drop them off at the right, emergency but, room. but you had to go yeah. out there. So that was right. you know we considered that a, a, a COVID related expense, and then they changed it to well. You know, it, as long as you're spending less than $10 million of this money, which I guess we qualify for that. 
<laughs> then you could, you could spend on anything you wanted. You know, it's completely open. You could spend on anything. Um, and I guess that's where Merrill picked up that, you know, it had potential of being spent on. No, from the beginning, you could spend it on rent relief. From the very beginning, you could oh. spend it on rent relief, small business relief. Um, I can't remember all the things now. Okay. Well, I guess that was more laser focused on on, budget, yeah. on uh yeah on our that, on our budget I, and i didn't want to do really but i was just no. interested in, in yeah you know, it's a type of just yeah. because of the background yeah yeah well, that's interesting because five thousand isn't that you much got an ambulance that you don't need because we need a <laughs> no no that, that was as, as a matter of fact i just, just got back from the 35th anniversary of our selling the ambulance company to, uh, we which now Huron valley ambulance which covers most of southeastern michigan Used to be two small companies, mm. um, and I own a third of emergency specialty service. Interesting. Why should they find out these days? Ambulances are becoming a good, good resource. Uh, <laughs> and hard to what get. is our timeline for deciding about uh, ARP? And that is not the requirements, but practical our needs and parallel to that uh, deciding on uh, going to the voters for an additional uh, fire levy well there are funds I can I can tell you that uh, we, we need to appropriate them by the 30, 31st of December of 2023 and we have to expend those funds by the 31st of December, 2024. But, uh, but our practical, we could spend it tomorrow. Yeah, today. but what, what's our group intent? What do we want to do? When do we want to deal with this? I think we, we kind of keep kicking it down the road a little. <laughs> but that's, that's fine with me. Yet. That was, that's fine with me. Or, we've, we've only got half of it. Yeah, we've only gotten half of it so far. Yeah, they haven't even dispersed us. I, in the back of my mind, because we seem to be able to, to fund our personnel through the total of this year. Mm -hmm. Next year, we're going to have to take a good hard look. Now, keep in mind, we're going to lose that $110,000 from that that time. Time. Uh, That's going to be an impact. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I want to see what our carryover is going to potentially be for next year. I mean, we are eating this carryover down quickly. And it's pretty much the carryover that's going to <coughs> hopefully fund the total of this year. Uh, I'm not 100 on that yet, but that's um, I'm anticipating that we'll be able to do that. After that, next year is going to be problematic. And if, if we vote a levy, if we put a levy on the ballot this November um, and it passes, we, I don't think we'll get the first access to that. Um, it doesn't really matter, but we, if we do vote it and it passes, we can borrow against it. If we're, if we're against mm -hmm. the wall, we can borrow against that potential, uh, that potential levy. So we'll be okay for, we would be okay for the end of 23 and, and then into the, uh, you know, the, the, the years to come. Um, so you're talking about this November? Yeah. October, September. So we would need, we need to decide by August 9th, uh, roughly. So we need to be talking in July about, Absolutely. Okay. Um, not that we can't be talking about it now. But mm -hmm. but I mean, we, we could wait until the spring, whichever it is, March or something, mm -hmm. spring election. If you, I mean, I know there's going to be one because there's going to be a primary but presidents, if nothing else. Um, but we get. It, it would be risky. I think we might be chewing our little nails. Well, the whole, the whole purpose of this we have tax calendar is that we be sensitive to what the schools are doing, and the schools be sensitive to us, and that we not blindside yeah. them or they blindside us. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to get find out as, as mm -hmm. soon as we can. Now we do have general fund money. Don't don't get me wrong. We have. 
excess, you know, but we are going to spend 300,000 of that for an ambulance, but apparently not for two years. So, mm -hmm. you know, that, that money might, might be sitting there. And we could spend that in the end of 23, uh, 24 for personal costs also. Uh, we don't have anything else earmarked for that money. And it was the result of the, of the fire of the fire station. And so it, you know, probably, probably, you know, probably be spent on fire. So. I would like in our minutes to make it this, we, we talked about the rent relief, and then we also talked about uh, decisions on, or timeline for decisions on uh, uh, possible tax. There was a time, Don, when you wanted uh, us to meet a special meeting just to discuss uh, finances. finances and the levy altogether in one big well, maybe in June. Maybe I mean, in July. Are, are you still wanting to? I, I don't. Uh, I, I don't want to bring that up now. Okay. Okay. But if it's November, we have to start by August. I'm not sure if Tech want to be talking a lot sooner than July, but to, it's June yeah. next week or two, two weeks. Maybe. Well, I will say I will be gone for the June. 20th meeting. Okay. And we're allowed to talk amongst ourselves as long as we don't decide anything. Not allowed to gather for the purpose of doing business without announcing it. Okay, I'm closing the books. I entertain the motion to adjourn. I say. No, yeah, I moved it. I moved it. She seconded. <laughs> we are adjourned by acclamation. Yep, don't worry, I'm good. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for